Hey everybody, Commander Santa here, and welcome back to Columbia. It's nice to see you again. It is, you know, been a week, so welcome back. Uh, so today I worked on a few more buildings for our main street here, and <laughs> I have to say, they are so much nicer than the first buildings we worked on. And I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> I'm kind of, you know, I'm like half impressed and half like really upset that, you know, like these buildings just completely overshadow the buildings across the street because uh, compared to these, the buildings across the street look like complete garbage in all honesty. Uh, I don't know. Maybe when I worked on those buildings, I don't, I thought they looked fantastic but then i just had some like crazy creative edge when i was working on this one so i don't know what happened so luckily for you guys you get to see it in action uh so what i've kind of came to the conclusion i'm probably going to go back and redo the buildings across the street i kind of want to keep their like what they generically look like but just improve them a little bit uh I kind of figured out the style a little bit more when I played around with this side, so I think that's exactly what happened. Um, by the third building that I do on this side of the street, I really figured out the style, and I'm super happy about it. So probably in a live stream or on my own time, <clears throat> I'll probably go back and update the, the buildings across the street just a little bit. Uh, they don't need much, but they just need just something I don't I, I don't know they need a few things um, what also helped is I found some amazing amazing uh, pretty much just artwork done mo some more artwork like I said done by the developers and some other people that I'm not sure if it was the actual developers in game but they pretty much modeled <clears throat> excuse me uh, they modeled um, every single one of the buildings that were in the concept sketches that were that I that I found and they just lined them up all next to each other and I was able to actually like look at all the buildings from you know just maybe it's all from the front from a picture but I was like see the buildings as a whole and then the different ways that you can go about um, adding different styles to this architecture and it was it's just the it's just the neatest crap in all honesty I like it's super cool um, as a developer myself I really enjoy seeing the way people like solve problems and come to conclusions and and just seeing it all sketched out on, on like on paper like that it was just it's just really cool to see uh maybe i'll link them in the description for you guys uh i, I don't know i just thought it's really cool so pretty much because of that i was able to really really figure it out on this side and i think you guys are going to be really happy with I, what i accomplished today um so I want to get into what I'm working on a little bit, but before I get into that, I wanted to thank the people that commented in the last video that kind of said, why don't I just make land? You know, I raise up the land and kind of like make these like floating islands. So in between episodes, I decided to do that. The only problem is it's not going as high as I want it to. Right now, if you guys see the ground, uh, that is as high as it's going to be. So, it's not, it's half the height of, as I originally had the buildings. Maybe that is a good thing, I guess. Um, my camera issue kind of fixed itself when I was down here a little bit. Just because the camera isn't expecting to zoom in like crazy to the ground, because it's like I'm super high up. There was a few points where, like, the camera got really wanky and I had to, I cut those pieces out so you guys don't, like, see me zooming across the freaking map and, like, slowly coming back because the camera was just really odd uh but yeah i don't know it's it seems to work out it, it worked out really nice so i'm going to try and incorporate as much as i can um probably the next thing i'm going to work on before i get into a little bit more of the main street is work on the actual island itself now i'm gonna try and model it after the floating city like the if you guys ever seen the under side of the floating city it's like there's like these balloons and blimps and that's it's kind of all like steampunk metalish underneath 
just kind of like the floating underbelly of the place. It's really cool. So I'm going to try and model that a little bit. Um, other than that, I think that really worked out. So thank you guys for your comments for that. Um, that really helped in all honesty. Uh, I got the pass to go down with no curbs and I can make my own curbs and it just looks really, really, really nice. So thank you so much guys. You guys are the best. I don't know how I do this without you. Um, so yeah, I am getting pretty far in the build. So let me, uh, let me talk about what we've worked on so far. So that first building, I wasn't really sure about the yellow color. And if you guys follow my Buffalo Valley episode, you will probably remember the train station that I just worked on, uh, where I branched into some colorful, uh, different, you know, colorful, different, just different styles of color. Because uh, I've tried to be a little bit more colorful, especially with Columbia. Columbia, you, the color really makes the place. And all the buildings are like all different colors, bricks, color plaster walls, and every con different color concrete, uh, painted walls, brick, just like normal brick walls. There's a lot of different colors going on, and I'm trying my best to keep this from getting super gray and bland, and that's one of the things that need to happen. I found out a way to kind of circumvent that as well with, with the buildings that ultimately need to be gray, is with a lot of like flower and green flowers and greenery and um, those little flags that you guys probably saw in the other episode that are kind of hanging from the building. So they have a lot of flags hanging out, like American flags and stuff, because you know it's like the world's fair and everything and that seems to be working really well so i decided to go with the yellow and it's kind of this like pale off yellow almost and it looks really nice and then the bottom portion is almost like the third building of the last episode that we worked on which was almost like the corner cafe um it was this very nice almost cafe style over here as well with the with the wood on the underneath and you'll be able to walk in and you know it's very probably very open in the bottom portion it just looks very very nice like in the inside it'll probably be like these old style wood with like you know these very nice open windows definitely tables or chairs or next to the windows if it's a shop it'll have like a beautiful natural light and everything maybe it's like a pastry shop or something i'm not really sure exactly what that's going to be yet um, I kind of put flowers in front of it last time, just kind of get some color over there. And I also need to block some of the sight lines a little bit just to kind of block the skybox and all the trees and stuff in the background because, well, oh well. I wish we had like a version, like a map that had nothing in it, like no landscaping around the outside and it was just like a square rectangle on the ground, maybe? I don't know. That's kind of what I would really like for this just floating in the clouds I don't know uh, so then the second building that I worked on turned out really really cool in my opinion I want to say the second building was my second favorite while my third building was my first favorite it's almost like my last episode where the third building I built was the favorite and then going down uh, but the second building was close to being first. I thought it was really, really cool. To me, the bottom looks more like a bank. Almost like, if you guys understand what I mean, like an old style, like inner city bank. Maybe that's what, this, what it's going to be. So, you know, it's got the steps up, very concrete. Uh, just kind of like two nice big windows on each side. A very nice kind of like detailing and above the door and everything, and then a nice big door with windows on the side of the door. It's just really, really cool. I don't know why it just screams bank to me, but it, it just does. Uh, other than that, I wanted to do something with like closer windows, so maybe there's like apartment buildings up above as well. The windows are very close together, so they're like, I don't know, maybe like two big rooms next to each other. Kind of cool, I thought. Uh, that was one of the styles in that picture I was talking about. And then... Other than that, I moved on to the third building. The third building was a little bit bigger. Now, one of the things I'm not sure about with this building is, well, don't get me wrong, this building is absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if it's going to be, if it belongs over here. No, I'm trying to say is, it's a little bit close to the street corner here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing something with that. I'm not sure how to handle the corner. So with the street corner here, I thought maybe, so in, sorry, I'm kind of like tumbling on words here, but 
Uh, I'm trying, just trying to explain this as best as I can. Uh, with the street corner here, in the actual reference image I was going on for this, this was actually from a building actually in the game that I found some reference images for. It's got like this almost overhang into the street a little bit. So like people can walk under or maybe it's almost like a car park or something. Even though there really isn't cars, but I'm not sure what to do with it. Maybe I'll, I could expand it just a tad bit to make it into a little corner building, like the building across the street, like the corner cafe. But this one's going to have a side entrance over here and maybe I'll have like a back alley or like a, another side entrance on the other side. I'm not sure yet. So if you guys want, let me know what you think in the comments about that. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's something where I think I need to build, I may need to just kind of leave it there and build a lot more and then come back to it later and see what the big picture looks like. Cause right now that seems to be what's kind of happening. Another thing I wanted to ask you guys is, uh, one of the things I didn't do in this episode were the roofs. Now, I'm not entirely sure what to do with the roofs. I really enjoy the flat roofs as well, but also, I mean, in the style, there is these, you know, like the metal angled roofs with the big, like, pillar smokestacks out the side as well for the, the chimney stacks. I'm not sure if I want to do them on these over here because I'm like, if I do one, I feel like I would need to do them all because they're all generally the same height. So I wouldn't want one like completely towering the other one. And that's one thing I changed on the other side, thanks to Mass Bandit, which he recommended on the forums that I kind of make the middle yellow building. If you remember from the other, from the second build. Uh, he, he recommended I make it a little bit taller or move it to the other side. Well, I ended up making it a little bit taller and it definitely helps. So generally the other side is roughly the same size, but they all have roofs. Now the third building on the other side, if you remember the cafe, the cafe is taller than the other buildings, but it's generally, but it has a flat roof. Now it works out because it's it's tall. It's as tall as the other building's roof, so it looks like it fits in pretty well. Now these are all generally the same height, so I'm not sure if I want to do a flat roof or maybe put angled metal roofs on them. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. And I think we're definitely going to maybe ta maybe tackle that in the live stream or the next episode. I'm not sure yet. So my idea for this building is pretty much a straight up apartment building as well as I think it's going to be like a straight up apartment building or maybe it's going to be a grand hotel uh, just kind of what I got with the windows in the first floor it's it, it seems it screams to me that it's going to be like this huge I mean not huge but very like upscale hotel of, of sorts if you know what I mean um, just kind of like you, you know these huge front bay windows you walk in and you'd have like a grand entrance and probably like a grand stairway up that's what I think this is going to be. Now I think when I finish the, um, when I finish like the underbelly kind of modeling and everything, I think I want to go back and finish the back of this to have like a bunch of balconies and stuff kind of overlooking like the nothingness of in the sky because <laughs> you remember these buildings are floating so and I didn't really model the back at all because I'm not sure what I'm going to do back there because as much as I want to model the entire buildings and like throw them on the Steam Workshop, I need to get it all to fit in correctly. So I need to know what's going on outside these buildings and on kind of like around the, the around the buildings and the theme itself for me to actually complete the buildings like in the back. So I pretty much got the fronts looking really nice and the backs are just nothing, just walls. And they're very boring. So <laughs> We'll definitely get there in a couple episodes for sure, so stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much all I have for today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked what I did here today, make sure to hit that like button. And I would really appreciate it if you subscribed if you want to see more. And let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, guys. See you in the next episode. Have a good week.